Hi, it's me, your granny. Once upon a time, there lived a lovely family of Mr. Edward, his beautiful wife, Sharina, and their three wonderful kids, Tina, George, and Jennifer. Mr. Edward's family had been planning this outing for weeks. They were all looking forward to the trip to the hill point. The night before their trip, Mr. Edward gathered the family in the living room. All right, everyone. I've got some exciting news about outing tomorrow. He began, smiling at the eager faces before him. We'll be traveling by train. By train? Tina squeaked. Her eyes lighting up with excitement. I've never been on a train before, Daddy. Neither have I, George echoed, jumping up and down. This is going to be so cool. Yeah! Jennifer, the older sister, tried to act composed, but a smile crept across her face. I have always wanted to ride a train, Daddy, she admitted. I can't wait to see what it's like. Shanida laughed at her children's enthusiasm. It settled then. We'll wake up early and head to the station. Make sure you all get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow is going to be a big day, my darlings. Shanida was happy too. Tina could hardly contain her excitement as she went to bed. She kept imagining what the train would look like and all the things she would see from the windows. The next morning, as the family gathered their bags and prepared to leave, Mr. Edward called out. All aboard the Edward Family Express. Next stop, the Hill Point. Yeah! Tina and George ran ahead giggly, while Jennifer followed with a big smile on her face. George pretended to be a train, making everyone laugh. <laughs> At the train station, Mr. Edward held Tina and George's hand as they made their way to the platform. Look at the size of the train, he pointed out. It's like a giant caterpillar. Wow, Tina gasped. I didn't know, Daddy. Trains were so big. And so loud, 
George added. Covering his ears as the train whistled blew. As they boarded the train, Mr. Edward helped Tina find her window seat. You get the best view, Tina. Tell us all about what you see. Okay? Tina nodded eagerly. I will, Daddy. I promise. <laughs> Jennifer settled in next to Tina and smiled. This is going to be the best trip ever, she said. And Tina wholeheartedly agreed. Yeah. As the train's engine roared to life and the wheels began to turn, Tina couldn't contain her excitement. She jumped up from her seat and shouted, Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! We are Jennifer and George joined in, waving their arms in the air. Hip hip hooray! They echoed, their voices filled with joy. Mr. Edward chuckled and joined in the fun. Hip hip hooray for our grand adventure! He said, high-fiving his children. Shanira smiled warmly at the scene. This is just the beginning, kids. Get ready for an amazing journey. Tina pressed her face against the window. Her eyes sparkling as the train picked up speed. Look! Everyone! The city is already disappearing. We are really on our way. Yeah! As the train began to move, Tina pressed her nose against the window. Watching as the cityscape transformed into a sprawling fields and distant hills. She saw cow gazing rivers winding through the countryside and little villages bustling with life. Everything seemed like a scene from a storybook. Look, Jen. Look, George. There's herd of deer. Tina exclaimed, pointing out the window. Jennifer and George crowded around her, their eyes white with wonder. Mr. Edward and Shanira joined in the fun, pointing out interesting sights and sharing stories from their own childhood train journeys. They played games, snacked on sandwiches and laughed together as the train chugged along. Mr. Edward and Shanira shared a quiet moment, watching their children's joy. Look at that, Mr. Edward said, smiling warmly. 
have never seen them this excited. Shanira nodded. Her eyes twinkled. It's moments like these that make all the planning worth it. Seeing their faces light up is priceless. Mr. Edward reached over and squeezed her hand. You were right about taking the train, Shinra. It's turned into such a memorable experience for them. They'll be talking about this for years. Mr. Edward said. Shinra sighed. It's moments like these that remind me how lucky we are. Family adventures like this bring us close together. Absolutely, Shaniwa. And this is just the beginning. There are so many more adventures to come in our life. Shinida looked out the window, her heart full. I can't wait to see what else is in store for us and our little explorers from the nature. Dear viewers, if you like my stories, Stay connected with me by like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.